absolute uh, hands down number one you don't don't even buy any lux brand lipsticks this is what you need the, your your lips will thank you the color payoff the hydration hello you guys welcome to my channel thanks for stopping by if this is your first time here hi my name is ella i used to be a professional makeup artist and then I became a mummy and decided to create this channel to stay connected to all things beauty, skincare, and makeup. And recently I've ventured out to fashion as well. Um, so I like drugstore beauty. I like discounted beauty. If that sounds like you tune, please subscribe and hit the notification bell button so you don't miss when I upload next. It is absolutely free for you and it is absolutely priceless for me. So let's start with the video. So, I have a confession to make. I have a problem. Um, I have an addiction to lipsticks. <laughs> I have so many, you guys don't understand. I'm a nomad. We've been traveling for about four years uh, because of my husband's work. So, everything has to be mobile. Not my makeup though. Just to show you how many lipsticks I travel with, and this is just traveling, like... I have things in LA, I have things in New York. Um, I don't even know what those lipsticks are anymore. And, you know, I go through them, I throw them away. And still, this is what I ended up traveling with. To show you how much it is, uh, I'm just going to put it in this clear container. So you can see, this is just what I travel with. T now you tell me, is this an addiction or what? This is insanity. And to make things worse, I recently purchased another lip product. And I don't even like it. It's this Clarins uh, lip oil. I love the consistency. I just don't like the color. So, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, let me save you from this pain of buying the wrong stuff. I'm going to tell you what's good, what's not this is mostly drugstore, I think, but I'm going to start with the very best lipstick I found. And um, I think it's absolutely amazing. And when I go back to the States, I'm going to buy every color. So in it. my older videos, I always talked about this one, the Vivid Matte Maybelline lipsticks, which have been discontinued. No longer can you find this, at least not in the States. I have not seen these. And I think I had two or three colors of those beautiful pigmented non-drying yet long wearing so no longer does this exist and forever i was trying to find something that's going to re replace it and i did find it and i was so pleased with these this is the revlon color stay satin ink it is so amazing I would never pay an absurd amount of money for a lipstick, but like, forget Yves Saint Laurent. This is so amazing. Forget Kevin O'Quan. These lipsticks are the bomb. The color range in these is excellent. I can't remember how many I've seen at any given time, but at CVS, they have a really good selection of these. You can find at least 10 colors for sure. There's neutrals, there's brights. I always picked up uh, these bright ones. For fall, I had this one. It's called Partner in Wine. Absolutely stunning color. I'm gonna swatch these for you so you understand what I'm talking about. This is my go-to uh, color is called Own It. It's like a fuchsia pink, like my jacket. And then this one is um, My Own Boss, which is a classic red. These lipsticks stay on. They don't dry out your lips. So it, it's called Satin Ink. It goes on like a liquid lipstick with um, shine. But then it kind of dries, but still stays shiny without making your lips dry. So you're never going to get that cat bum uh, situation that you usually get with matte lipsticks this is something in between matte and glossy i don't know how to explain it i'll put it on the
let me go through other lipsticks that I have. If you ever find these Vivid Mattes by Maybelline, grab them. They're as amazing as the Revlon ones. Lip product from drugstore are these Milani Lip Plumpers. Keep it full. I love these. Um, I had these in many, many colors. And then recently I really liked uh, these Physicians Formula Diamond Plumpers. Uh, they actually extended the color story. I believe there's four colors now. One is clear. The, the one that I'm missing here is clear. And another one is like a berry color, a darker berry color. These are beautiful and they're plumper, so they'll give you a little bit of a tingle, just like the Milani one. Uh, and I love the packaging. It's so pretty. So not sticky, moisturizing the house. This I was really disappointed in this is black radiance it's a lip gloss <sighs> the color is so beautiful look at the glitter in it the color suits me like beautifully it's such a beautiful color and the glitter but this is what happens with the brush I've cut it so many times I've done everything I could to it but this is what I end up and it's such a shame because the product itself is so nice and I wish I could replace the whole thing, but like I said, I've been cutting it so many times and it just doesn't help. It's not a very good quality wand, but the color inside is absolutely stunning. But the applicator, kind of yes, but kind of no to the packaging. <laughs> Next, I have the Stay Glossy by Rimmel London. This is okay. It's kind of a weird color for me. The texture is okay, it's not too sticky, but it kind of is lacking in pigment or shine. It's neither, so it's kind of like whatever. These I really liked in the beginning. These are the Rosé All Day Physicians Formula Lip Crayons. Pretty good, but I don't know why I stopped using it. I think the color is too brown. I have to mix it with another lipstick. But yeah, these are pretty good, a bit on the drier side, so you need to put a lip balm before you do this. But I like these because, yes, I remember why I liked it, because it's a pencil and a lipstick all in one. Uh, you do need to sharpen it, however, so if you don't have a thick sharpener, sharpener, you have to purchase that as well. It's convenient that you can line your lips and then um, color in. The color I have here, I think, is wine and dine disappointing uh this is from sephora now a rare beauty yeah i tried this this was so dry so this is their liquid lip uh, matte lip oh my gosh i can't read that this is so small lip cream in color confident dry the house i didn't like it um same thing i thought about blush but i'll mention it in another video this is the color of it it's kind of like neutral but i found it drying at first it's okay but then dry the house Ilia, really like this one this one is color block lipstick it's called wild aster and this was one of my fall colors again really pretty and you know Ilia is an organic uh, makeup line i think they're based in california so this is non-drying i really like this next i don't know do i love them or do i hate them <laughs> these are kevin o'quan i bought them 50 percent off at uh, tj maxx the texture is so pretty these are the expert lip color oops Again, it's this model, one of my fall colors. Look how stunning this color is. But when you do your lips, it skips. It does this skipping business. You see that? You could tell the difference between these two. So to line your lips, it's, it's extremely challenging. So it feels so creamy and luxurious on your lips, but then you spend you end up spending like 15 minutes to try and align your lips because it keeps this feathering and skipping and the same thing with this this is carliana a classic red the color is so beautiful 
but again it skips you can see you can see the difference between um again Ilya and that it's skippy it's very skippy oh another uh drugstore lipstick is by milani it's bold matte in i am powerful the color is stunning but it's so dry the house it's right here you need to really like moisturize your lips before you put this on but i guess that's with any matte lipstick i also found this carl lagerfeld look how cute this is uh i bought this in russia this is a matte uh lip color and it has a mirror on the other side which i thought was so cute uh, but the color itself is very drying and kind of not here nor there i found it very similar to rare beauty this is Carl Lagerfeld. Um, the same kind of thing. It's very dry and you can even see on here how dry it is. So this is the Lip Comfort Oil. So it's really pretty. I just don't like the color. The texture is just amazing. Look at this. It just doesn't show up as this bright color on my face i feel like this color is the same color as my redness on my cheeks that's why it doesn't look good on me by the way i got a bit of a tan going on um because the sun is getting stronger here and then of course i have my charlotte tilbury pillow talk it's a classic but i bought a travel size of that uh, because it's very expensive i think i paid 12 or 15 dollars for lipstick and lip liner but they're both uh tiny small versions of it it's really pretty this is pillow talk so that's my collection like i said this is absolute uh hands down number one you don't don't even buy any lux brand lipsticks this is what you need the, your your lips will thank you the color payoff, the hydration, color selection. So as usual, we'll chat in the comments down below. You guys let me know what are your favorite drugstore uh, picks for lipsticks and lip glosses. It's always good to hear new options. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.